data operations, one of the most impactful ways to help transform your organization. My name is Jeff Deverter, and I'm the Chief Technology Evangelist here at Rackspace Technology. And I'm joined today by Principal Architect, Nirmal Ranganathan from Rackspace as well, and part of our data practice. Now today we're gonna tell you the five key ways to have a successful data ops practice. Nirmal, take us through the first one. Thank you, Jeff. The key to success for any organization is collaboration, right? And it's no different for data, right? Key to success in data is collaboration, right? And part of that is collaborating with the various groups, right? People that produce the data to people that want to consume and use the data, right? The goal is to realize self-service analytics at the end of the day. And collaboration is a key part in enabling that. All right, we still have to work together, even in the deep technology areas. Now that takes us to the next element, and that's where we're gonna combine automation and tooling. What's important here to know? Yep, so automation is how you really tie all this together, right? And tooling enables you to do that. And when you think about automation, think of the second term, right? Ops aspect, so that's key. So adopting DevOps principles to everything from CI CD to automation of environments, test-driven data development, right? And tooling to manage the whole life cycle of data, everything from ingestion all the way to providing the visualization dashboards for customers, right? So that becomes key. And underlying all of that, right? Monitoring, auditing, logging, all of those key elements in an automation aspect. Now, one of the hardest things that we've found to find in any transformational effort is the right expertise. Does that hold true in data ops as well? Absolutely, right? Because it's an evolving discipline and it's not just being a data engineer or a data scientist is sufficient, right? You also got to put together all these various aspects that we talked about, right? Collaboration, being able to do the automation and then the two others that we're going to talk about, right? So somebody that understands that whole life cycle is oftentimes difficult to get, right? And oftentimes it's not a singular person, right? It's a group of people. So having the right expertise in the right team in place and the right partners in place is gonna be key. All right, well, you mentioned earlier that data ops is an extension of DevOps. Talk to me a little bit about how that is impacted by the agile mindset of DevOps. Exactly, so the world's changing, right? And data's changing super fast. So in order to keep up with that, you need improve your analytics development practices as well, right? And software development world has done that, doing the same for analytics, right? And that's where agile development practices come into play, right? Being able to do sprint-based development, building um, software, and in this case, it's analytics components, right? In manageable chunks, and having more of that kind of test-driven mentality as well, right? So that's where agile plays a key role in making data available to the end users. Excellent. Well, we've got to wrap it all up as well. So what's your point five? Five, even though it's last, is a key point, right? Governance, right? Underlays all of what we're doing here. And the key elements of those are data quality and data security, right? Security is, in these days, hypercritical, right, across every organization. And unless you have a good governance plan in place and how you organize structure and then secure your data, you're not going to really succeed in the business, right? As you've seen, a high-flying company, a data breach the next day, right? You're out of business. So it's key that governance is incorporated across the whole aspect of your data ops practice. All right, Normal, thank you. Those are the five key areas for a successful data ops practice. If you're venturing down this road today, well, Rackspace has an offering that can help you with your data ops practice, and it's available right now.